In this video, I want to talk about dosing of isotretinoin, also known as Accutane, and how we can thoughtfully use this medication to improve outcomes for acne. If you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. John Barbieri. I'm a board-certified dermatologist and acne expert. Now, before we start, I want to just highlight that isotretinoin is not a medicine that's right for everyone. It has important risks and side effects that need to be considered thoughtfully when deciding whether or not to use it. And this video isn't about whether isotretinoin is the right treatment or not. We have some other videos on this channel that talk about isotretinoin risks and benefits and side effects, so feel free to check those out. But this video is really aimed at when we've decided that isotretinoin is the right treatment for acne, what's the best way to dose it, to use it, to get the best possible outcomes? Historically, when it comes to this medication, it kind of gets dosed in a one-size-fits-all approach, starting at like 0.5 milligrams per kilogram and going up to one milligram per kilogram per day, aiming for about 120 milligrams per kilogram of total dose. This usually occurs over about five or six months. However, this one-size-fits-all approach can really fail a lot of people. Those who have more severe acne maybe don't clear as fast, then we're setting kind of an arbitrary endpoint when our goal is right to clear people. If they're not clear at the end, we have to potentially keep going. In addition, we know that side effects of isotretinoin are incredibly dose dependent. What that means is the higher dose that's being used, the more likely people are to experience issues like dryness or joint aches or muscle pains. And so by being thoughtful about our dosing, we can try to minimize and mitigate some of these common side effects that can limit our ability to use this medication. When we're thinking about optimal dosing, there's a few lines of evidence that can help inform our approach. The first is there's a randomized controlled trial where they randomize people to get either a lower dose isotretinoin regimen, a medium to high dose regimen, or this intermittent dosing regimen where people would get a week per month of treatment. And what they found in the study is that the intermittent dosing regimen does not work very well. Treating people one week per month does not work effectively and is not an ideal treatment strategy. However, when they looked at that low dose approach versus that higher dose approach, they found that rates of acne clearance were similar between them Rates of long-term clearance of relapse were similar between them one year after people finished. That's really reassuring that this low-dose regimen can work well. And what was really remarkable is that the lower-dose regimens had much higher rates of satisfaction. People who were treated with the lower-dose regimen were much, much more satisfied. They were happier, right? That's our goal of active treatment, is to make people happier and feel better. And so people were much happier in that group that got the lower-dose regimen and it's probably because they had less side effects and similar rates of acne clearance. Another helpful piece of evidence is some work by Marius Rademacher looking at what is a predictor of long-term clearance. And in this work, he found that daily dose, so is it a big dose or a little dose, that's not predictive of long-term clearance. Total dose, you know, you treat 120 milligrams per kilogram, 150, 220 milligrams per kilogram, that's not a good predictor of long-term clearance the best predictor of long-term clearance is having clear skin for two or three months. And intuitively, this makes sense. You know, the better we get people clear with that medicine, the longer we keep them clear, the more likely they are to stay that way after we stop. And so rather than dosing to some arbitrary endpoints or some arbitrary daily dose, we can individualize our approach to our patient's needs and their acne to get the best possible outcomes. So how do I think about putting this into practice? Well, one can start with kind of a low to medium dose, something like the 0.2 to 0.4 or 0.5 milligrams per kilogram per day range. Can gradually increase that over a month or two, depending on side effects, trying to get to a dose where people have kind of moderate but manageable side effects, and that's gonna depend person to person. Some people might prefer to have more side effects and get done faster. Some people might prefer to have less side effects and get done slower. Ultimately, either of those approaches can work and either is fine it allows us to kind of meet the needs of the person and what they're looking for. So that higher dose regimen and that lower dose regimen can work. But again, starting kind of that low dose, working your way up, depending on side effects. For those who are having less side effects, we might go higher. For those who are having more side effects and are getting better anyway, we might stay lower. The other thing that side effects can help us watch out for are people who aren't absorbing it. Some people, they don't absorb isotretinoin well, and potentially using these light dose or micronized formulations might help have better results. And so if someone's having really no dryness, even at kind of a moderate to high dose, they're probably not absorbing it well, and it's worth reconsidering if we should use a different formulation of isotretinoin to get better results. Now, once we get to that daily dose target, somewhere that usually ends up between like 0.5 to 1.5 milligrams per kilogram per day, we kind of have manageable, moderate side effects. Then my goal, and my thinking about this is to treat them 
according to that kind of study I showed earlier, to about two to three months of clearance. So there's no arbitrary number that I'm trying to get to. The goal is to have clear skin for about two or three months. For those who are having less side effects and are more worried about long-term clearance, we might try and aim for a longer amount to, because we know the longer we go, the lower likelihood there is of relapse. So for someone who's really worried about acne recurrence, who's not having a lot of dryness or other issues, maybe we treat a little bit longer. For someone who's having more side effects and maybe isn't as worried about long-term clearance, well then we might treat to a shorter amount, maybe only one or two months clear. Know that we might be accepting a slightly higher risk of acne coming back in the future, but we're doing that to try to minimize the issues of long-term dryness or other side effects that can happen with isotretinoin. So by taking this individualized approach, where we're using kind of a low to medium daily dose and working our way up based on side effects, and then treating until the skin is clear for two or three months, depending on how the individual is feeling about the medicine and their priorities of side effects versus long-term clearance, we can individualize the treatment regimen to meet the needs of our patients. We can get better results with this medication. We can have better satisfaction. We can have better rates of long-term clearance and lower rates of side effects. So I really think we should move away from these arbitrary weight-based daily dosing and arbitrary milligrams per kilogram cumulative dosing strategies and focus more on meeting the individual needs of that person and their goals and their side effects. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please pop that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Your support really means a lot to me and it's what makes these videos possible. In addition, ask me your questions about acne and isotretinoin dosing in the comments below. Until next time, see ya.